All right, so this is where I left you guys last week. For those of you who missed last week's video, essentially I am working on my own custom line of instruments, and this is a prototype base that I'm working on, and so far I'm absolutely loving it. So we'll do a real quick recap of how I got to this part for those of you who missed the video, and then we are going to start with putting our finish on the body, and we're gonna be doing a lot of work to the neck and frets, and we'll talk about this neck a little bit as we get into it, so. All right, I'm Dan, this is Guns of Guitars. Let's get started. All right, so today I am working on some fret work, and so I thought it'd be a good time to talk more about this neck. A lot of you guys asked questions about it in my video last week. This is an imported prefabricated neck from China. It's sort of nothing special, made out of Canadian maple and rosewood. As you can see, I already stained it black. Came with an angled blank paddle headstock, which I already shaped into the shape of my great guitar build off headstock. Of course, because it's an angled headstock, I didn't need to do the sideways tuners because I already have the brake angle there. And I think I need to see it all together first, but I haven't decided if I like this headstock shape or if I like the headstock shape I did in my last prototype. You guys will have to let me know in the comments which one you prefer. But the reason why I'm using a prefabricated imported neck as opposed to making my own is because, well, firstly, if this is gonna be a production instrument that I build and sell, this is just far more cost effective and time effective because I mean, the cost of materials alone is about the price of this pre-made neck just to build one myself. And two, I found that there's really not a whole lot of difference in where or how the neck is made, as much as there's a difference in where or how the fretwork and final setup is done. And so I'd rather buy an imported neck that is decent quality, you know, I'm gonna quality control these and make sure that everything works properly. And then I'm just gonna spend some time doing some real quality fret work and a real quality setup job. And I know for a fact that I can get import necks to play as good or better than any handmade or American made neck. And so for me, because I'm really trying hard to keep these instruments south of $1,000, which is proving very difficult with the cost of materials and how labor intensive it is to make an instrument. And if I made my own necks, that just wouldn't be possible. It would probably actually double the price. It'd probably be around the $2,000 range, which gets you kind of up into like custom shop and boutique level guitars. And that's just not me. I don't buy and play those instruments personally. So I would rather make something that I myself would purchase and play. And so by using an imported neck and just spending an hour or two doing some really quality fret work and a really good setup job, I can pass the savings along to the customer and I can invest a little bit more money into the, what I feel like is more important, the wiring and the electronics. So with the money and time saved by going with a prefab neck, I not only can still have a really high-end playing instrument, but I can invest a little bit more money into the electronics and I can pass the savings along to the customer. And that to me, I think is more important. Let me know in the comments if you subscribe to that logic and why don't you go ahead and subscribe to this channel while you're at it. <laughs> All right, so now that I have all the finish done and this thing sort of mock assembled, up against the rosewood fretboard, I just don't really care for this pickguard anymore. The red and the rosewood really kind of brings out some green in this, and I think it just doesn't look that great. Here, let me adjust the exposure, maybe you can see it a little better. And so I think I'm gonna sand this back and see if I can't stain it a color that complements the rosewood a little bit more. Now, if you're looking closely at these pickups, and I hope that you are, you might notice that they look a little bit different. And that's because they are a little bit different. These are not any sort of factory pickups that you can buy off the shelf anywhere. 
These are custom hand wound to my specs from a local custom shop. Also, if you're looking closely, you might notice that I did the exact same wiring tricks that I did on my last prototype. And I think this is the wiring setup that I'm gonna use for my prototype uh, because it's so versatile. Having the series parallel switch for the two pickups and the stereo split for recording or blower bypass switch if you're running it in series. It's just awesome having a completely passive setup with that many tonal options. You don't have to worry about batteries dying on stage or anything like that. It took us a few tries to get it right, but I finally nailed it down and these things sound absolutely killer. So I'm gonna do a real quick sound demo for you. And just for comparison, I'm gonna go ahead and compare them to the Bartolini's in my last prototype. Now, I want you to keep something in mind. It's not a really fair comparison because those Bartolini's, I was using some Fender flat wound strings and I found today when I strung this thing up that I don't have any more flat wounds on hand. So I strung this one up with some Fender nickel plated rounds. And so they're a little bit brighter and you're gonna notice that the sound demo from last time sounds a little bit warmer, a little bit fatter, which is typical of flats versus rounds. Right, But what I really want you to pay attention to are the mids. Bartolini's have sort of a scooped mids tone profile. And these, I was very intentional with the mid range that I was going for. I wanted a very versatile pickup that you could kind of EQ for whatever genre of music you're going after. I wanted some pickups that might lend themselves to some more aggressive style of music where Bartolini may not fit in. Also, pay no attention to the amp setup. I was just using this for my general setup and to jam around today. Uh, but just like last time, I'm actually just gonna be recording directly into Logic and I'm just using the exact same settings that I used for those Bartolini pickups. Again, if I tweak the settings a little bit, I could probably get this to sound more exactly like those, but that's not what I wanna do here. I wanna kinda of demonstrate the difference between my custom wound pickups and the Bartolini's. <laughs> And if you're interested in wiring up your bass like this, I do have my wiring diagrams for sale on my website, gunsandguitars.net, where I will actually also have this bass for sale. Actually, scratch that. So unfortunately for you guys, this bass has already sold. Uh, I listed it for sale on my website last night and one of my viewers just happened to be browsing and saw and bought it before you guys could. Now, the last bass that I built sold within an hour of me posting the video, and this one sold before I could even post the video. So Logic would say, I need to raise my price, right? Well, I just don't wanna do that, okay? I told you, my whole thing is I wanna make some really high quality, beautiful instruments for less than $1,000. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I've been stockpiling some beautiful wood slabs to make more prototypes. And so I'm gonna let you guys in on the process. If you would like to pre-order one of these prototypes, then you will get to pick your slab of wood along with a couple other things. You get to pick like your pickup layout or even a different brand of pickups. You know, for example, if you decided you liked the sound of those Bartolini's better, then we can put some Bartolini's in it. Or maybe you want a five string version. I'm not opposed to that either. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the wood that I have on hand. Starting off here in the middle, we have a beautiful slab of ash. So if you liked the open grain look of the base that I just built, this is the exact same wood. And I sanded this a little bit so you can kind of see the awesome figuring. So we've got a really nice couple of options right there. If you're in love with the base I just built, these will look equally as good. Up here, we have a really cool slab of black walnut with tons of character and figuring in there. With some swirling in the grain. It just looks absolutely beautiful. Down here, we have some sort of elm. I picked this slab out because that wood grain, oh my goodness, can you see that? You notice these are all one piece bodies. And then if you really want to get experimental with me, 
we got this damage section down here that I think would be really cool if we stabilized it with epoxy or something. Of course, that would be the back of the instrument unless you're left-handed. And you know, left-handed is an option if you're going to pre-order one of these. And lastly, and maybe my favorite, we have Sisu, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is like Indian Rosewood, I think is another name for it. This body up here especially is gonna look super cool with that sort of yin-yang two-tone vibe. Um, but look at the grain and the heartwood on this. That is just gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So those are the options that I currently have for you. If you wanna check them out on my website, gunsandguitars.net, you can pre-order them for a 50% upfront deposit. The other 50% will be due when it's completed along with any applicable upgrades or shipping charges as well. So go have a browse around the website, check out my awesome merch while you're there. I think it's pretty awesome anyway. And if you're interested in knowing what this little amp is, I think I'm gonna be making a video on it in the upcoming weeks. This is Joyo's first attempt to make a Bantamp bass amp. And it's actually a really cool little amp. I'm excited to demo it for you guys. So make sure you're subscribed. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, and I'll see you in that next video.